All right, all right. Peace to the family out there. Let me pull, pull my mic a little closer. We about to get started. Let me put this. Okay. Oh yeah, we about to get started. Have a good show today. Peace, yes, baby. sir. World all over the globe. Uh, round globe or flat globe? I don't know. <laughs> but <laughs> shout out right. to out there. But uh, listen, I'm about to bring on my guests. We're gonna have a great show tonight. Let me get to a quick commercial real quick from King Simon, and then we're gonna get started. I finally be back in about uh, 30 seconds. The legendary Professor James Smalls come to Atlanta, Georgia for two days. April 6th and April 7th, you don't want to miss it. He's doing a public and a private event. Text me right now at 347-496-1022. That's 347-496-1022. The legendary Professor James Smalls, as you've seen him on Hidden Colors and all the rest of the documentaries. Make sure you go to my link tree at linktree forward slash King Simon and Numero Beta. Professor James Smalls in Atlanta, April 6th and April 7th. All right, all right. Without further ado, I want to welcome this gentleman back to the platform. He's been on here one time before. The, the video ended up doing great numbers. I think it went kind of viral. I think it's at like 100,000 right now. Yes, but shout sir. out. Welcome back to Brother Macabre 13. Mm. Welcome back, brother. What's good, man? Peace, man. Peace to everybody watching, man. You know, appreciate you for having me. Um, You know, let's let's make history again, bro. Indeed, indeed. Um, What do you what Before we get started, what's your thoughts on um so many... To, um shows circulating around the eclipse what's your thought on this eclipse that's getting ready to happen um yeah i'm gonna be real it's like i don't really get too super caught up into it um like just where i'm at at this point i'm mm -hmm. just always tapped in no matter what but yeah when these astrological events occur it's always a portal it's always yeah. good to do rituals it's always good to you know tap into these cosmic alignments but right. like just me personally, I'm not super heavy into like the astrology and stuff. I know yeah. that it has, you know, meaning and it's definitely some powerful energies. And I just look at it like everything that's happening out there is also mm -hmm. happening within us. Indeed. So it's really almost like we are the eclipse almost at this point. So Ooh. that's kind of how I look at it. <laughs> love, love that perspective. Love that perspective, my brother. So the name of the show, um, you had a it, the brother has a great Instagram. First of all, I would advise everybody to follow his Instagram. That's how I found out about the brother. The Instagram is Macabre Thirteen, right? Yeah, yeah, Macabre Thirteen on all platforms. Right, indeed. So I would advise everybody follow the brother's Instagram for some a daily dose of just knowledge and wisdom. Uh, you had a video on there about activating psychic abilities. Uh, that's one of the things, my brother, that a lot of people are uh, recognizing is that they're in they're more in tune with themselves than they have ever been. Even I mean, even I'm finding even people that were we will call them dead or, you know, dead or not woke. Even they're like, yo, I think I could do this. or Yo, I think I could do that. Right. So I, it, and it's strange that this is happening at the same time. I AI is taking over the whole technology sector because it's like right. people almost feel like they have to choose in a way and i don't yeah. know if that's necessarily the case but we're going to get into all that but to start out with simply put what does psychic even mean when when, when for somebody who hears the word psychic what does that even mean yeah um really to put it simply psychic really comes from psyche which really just means mind or mental yeah. so when we talk about you know psychic energy we're really just talking about mental energy the power of thought the frequency of thought you know, every thought that you produce has electricity, electromagnetism. So this is really what we're talking about when we're talking about psychic abilities. We're really just talking about tapping into the power of your own mind. You know, mm -hmm. I think a lot of times people kind of look at it with like kind of like a Hollywood perspective and they kind of just think about, oh, yeah, I can move things with my mind and do all of this, which that's a part of it. You can definitely unlock that. But a lot of times it's a lot more subtle and we all have psychic abilities. It's just activated on different levels. And a lot of it is dormant um, just based upon religion, based upon diet, based upon us not using the abilities. But essentially, we're just talking about the power of the mind um, to really just break it down on the most basic level. Yeah, definitely, indeed. Also, what I want to do tonight, family, I want to, oh, I'm getting a weak Wi-Fi signal. I hope I'm good. You can hear me, right, brother? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear yeah, me? It, it does seem like it's a little no, pixelated. Like it could be like some connection issues. Yeah. Um, hopefully everything go good. Um, so what I want to do tonight, family, is I want to take some, I want to allow y'all, this is something that's very important that we're all tapping into. I want to allow y'all to come on in and ask them a, a question or express something 
whether you have an ability that you may want to tap into more or you just want to share with us an experience you have. Um, nothing long, no long-winded stuff, you know, as usual on, on my show. So I'm I'm in on one question and then we could keep it moving to the yes. But I think that I love the way this brother approaches his Instagram. And um the brother also does consultations. So I think that it would be great to have some of y'all come on in the show and uh have the brother just kick it with y'all real quick because this is something very important. Our psychic abilities, and I don't want us to sleep on this right here. So I just put the link right. in the chat. Um so if you want to come on the show, ask a question, or if you have a comment concerning your psychic abilities or somebody in your family or a loved one, come on in and uh, let us know. We just talked about the clip, so you have to rewind the show to uh, hear what the brother had to say about that. But, okay, so, all right, so let me ask you this now. As far okay. as directing energy in your body, I'm trying to think of a simple way. That That's something that a lot of people haven't tried and they're not really aware of. Um, I want to use a simple example, and I want to see if it's like that. Sometimes, okay. like, let's say when you or and your mother tell you, use the bathroom so you won't pee on yourself. You really don't have to use the bathroom. Mm -hmm. But she'll tell you, use the bathroom because we're going to go somewhere where you, you're not going to be able to use the bathroom or you're getting ready to go to sleep. So when you go in there to use the bathroom, you have to direct energy to get the piss to come out of you, to <laughs> urinate, because you don't that bad. But you have to mentally concentrate. To, right. to piss so you could you know so you could piss or whatever now is it the same way when it comes to us directing the energy to urinate when we don't have to urinate but our mother's telling us to urinate is that sort of the same concept when it comes to these energies and in terms of directing the energy flow throughout the body yeah that's actually a great example that you just used because a lot of it is based purely on concentration focus and willpower and so a lot of times you know, people aren't used to using these abilities because a lot of us have been told our whole life that it's not real. So a lot of us right. have these gifts. But like I said, due to Christianity, due to the way that a lot of people grow up, people are kind of told like, oh, yeah, don't stop practicing that. You know, that's that's witchcraft. That's the devil. That's evil. So a lot of times we shut down these abilities um, just based upon, you know, our programming. But yeah, that's definitely right. Like you being able to mentally project energy project thought mm. is really the whole key of unlocking these psychic abilities um and really intention is really like the biggest key because a lot of people just don't understand the power that they have so they don't understand that they can be in a situation and they can alter it just by them not accepting what they're seeing in front of them but actually becoming more so of like the architect or the program you know we talk about the matrix but we don't understand that we have the ability to program as well instead of just reacting to what we're seeing so yeah that, that's a great example um yeah that, that's a great example you used great 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 now i'm wondering <clears throat> how much of this energy is focused I think I, you know i interview a bunch of people i'm you know i'm, I'm watching tons of videos and read books and you know I, i'm always talking to people about spiritual concepts i noticed that um, some people say they say they have psychic abilities, but it doesn't appear that they have psychic abilities. <laughs> a lot of people want to tap into a lot of people won't want to tap into this magic or this yeah. science, should I say, but they just don't they, I into it, whether it's sex magic or whatever, you can see in their life. Um, uh, like a person said, Show me your life, I'll tell you what you're thinking. You can see right. it in their life that they're just not tapping into these things that they claim that they are. My question right. is, Makaba, how much does this energy and this ability have to do with your ability to tap into your heart? Because one thing I notice a lot of our people is missing is love in our life. And I'm right. wondering is because we're missing love, is that the key ingredient that's preventing these people, these same people from doing this magic that they want to do so bad? That's actually a very, very good point, because I was going to say that really one of the best ways to tap into psychic abilities is actually tapping into the energy of compassion and empathy because a lot of people don't understand that in order to have compassion you have to be able to step outside of yourself and be able to feel or perceive feel. What somebody else's feeling yeah right and it's like a lot of yeah. people are just so self-centered um <clears throat> that they can't really go beyond their self or the ego so yeah that's really a major part of it is activating the heart because i believe like the heart produces like uh, i'm not 100 percent. i think it's like five to ten times as much um like electrical energy as the brain 
So yeah, the heart is key because like yeah. you said, a lot of people have the knowledge mentally, but they haven't really actualized it or internalized it within their heart. And that's really the difference between, you know, bringing things into reality and just kind of living in your head. A lot of us kind of live in our head um, because we haven't really truly become the information. We haven't truly began to embody it. So yeah, it's, it's really the heart, I would really say is almost might be more important than the mind at certain points, because think about, think about your grandmother, right? A lot of times, like our grandmothers, even though they may have been Christianized or whatever, their prayers still held weight just because for one yep. thing, they was, they was yep. convinced. They had 100% conviction. Mm -hmm. They was actually praying from their heart. So even though they may have been, mm -hmm. you know, indoctrinated, quote unquote, with the Jesus and the religion, their heart was pure and in the right place. So that can even bypass a lot of the mind control a lot of times. So, yeah, the heart is mm -hmm. definitely key. What do you think is why? Right, so if the heart is key, what do you think is one of the main things in society? Because that's obviously we, we see the women aren't the same anymore and the right. men aren't the same no more. So what right. is the one of the main things you think that we started engaging in that took away that heart energy that we possessed before? Despite we was in poverty, despite the oppression, despite everything, we still had that heart energy. What's one of the main things we started to do that took that away, stripped that away from us, both men and women? Um, honestly, it's just like the destruction of the family. Um, you know, like families don't really hit the same like they used to, bro. Like even when I was like a young kid, like just the family gatherings, you know, just kind of like that, that general feeling of just togetherness. I just feel like people are more isolated now. Um, you know, I guess some people may blame social media, the internet or just the modern world, but I just think overall, we don't really connect on a pure level as much. Um, and I think that's really like one of the biggest tragedies because a lot of times in order to activate um, this love within yourself, a lot of times you have to see a model of love first. So if you have like, you know, a broken home or you, or you've been abused or you never felt that love initially um, growing up as a kid, it'll be hard for you to even know what it looks like. So, you know, a lot of, young men growing up in our community, they've never actually seen a real man and the principles and all of the things that come with that. And the same thing with women. So I just think the destruction of the family, I think, um, you know, individualism being kind of like what most people focus on, I think that kind of has degraded just the community aspect. Um, and I definitely think that's something that's overlooked. Um, you know, when you don't really have a strong community, it's kind of hard to um, really even find that love because like even in our community, bro, it's a lot of people competing with each other. Like even in this conscious community, people trying to compete over who's the most woke or who's the exactly. deepest or who exactly. got the most clout. Um, and yeah, I just think it's a lot of division. And I think um, it's just a lot of like ulterior motives. And like I say, with a lot of this stuff, you know, purity of heart is really what will, what will um, separate you. So yeah, bro. I just think it's a lot of social factors that just contribute um, to that whole situation. Mm, indeed, indeed. Do you think that um, you mentioned Christianity early in, in our grandma's prayers? They was in Christianity and their prayers work. Uh, I'm noticing it seems as though and it, it, this may sound weird. It seems as though we were more magical under Christianity. <laughs> it seems as though once we started to embrace the new age information, it seems as though the people didn't have that magic the same way that they once had. It's weird. And I'm not, you know, I'm not saying go back to being Christian. Or I'm not saying go <laughs> left or right. But what yeah. I am saying is I just noticed, like you, like you said, I noticed our grandma and that energy was there when we were under that spell of religion. So what do you think about this whole new age movement and its effect on our ability to uh have psychic um psychic and enhance our psychic powers um yeah i just think you know we've become a little bit too left-brained um a little kind of just too intellectual like i say it's like people i see people like in my comment section arguing over like what's the truth and arguing over like okay are we moors are we hebrew israelites or are we the Kimites, it's like we arguing over all of this information instead of actually focusing on the actual work. Because truthfully, um, 
all of these different philosophies and all of these different spiritual systems, there really isn't one that's better, quote unquote, than the other one. Different things work for you. So, I mean, you can be, um, you know, Christian, you can be, you know, Muslim, you can be any of these things. But like I said, it still go back um, to your heart. So I just think, you know, we kind of got to a point where we started to kind of worship the information and like worship the books and even kind of like worship the yeah. teachers and like the knowledge that they were speaking instead of actually living it and embracing it. So, yeah, I think I think that's what it is. I think when um, when we were kind of just more like, I guess, under the, the Christian program, I just think we was just more naturally connected just to the earth and just to ourselves. And just over time, um, like I said, we kind of lost the community aspect in a certain way. We kind of lost like the connection with nature in a certain way. Um, and I really think that that may be one of the biggest things, too, because I know like my grandma, you know, she grew up a lot differently than I grew up to where, you know, she was kind of still like working directly with the land and stuff. Um, so they kind of just had a different relationship um, with reality. Um, so, yeah, I just think I just think, you know, as time evolved, we kind of shifted just the way that we collectively think and the way that we move. Um, and in some ways it's better, but in some ways it's worse. But yeah, I just think we became a little too obsessed with the information. Um, and mm -hmm. it just takes time to actually put it into practice and actually start to live it versus just studying. You know, it's a difference between being a mm -hmm. practitioner and, you know, being someone that studies it. Mm -hmm. No, indeed. Indeed. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, so a, a lot of times, Makaba, I've noticed this just throughout my, you know, my journey that people that are into this information, when shit hit the fan, like big time, they go back to Jesus. Like, oh, yeah. If you're on that hospital bed, <laughs> if you're on that hospital bed, you, you've been studying Osiris for the last 13 years. But when you're on that hospital bed, a lot of the times people, they go back to Jesus. Yeah. Which kind of shows they never believe they they they're not they not, they don't really believe this information almost. It's kind of it's yeah. kind of weird, man. Yeah, it's hard, bro. It's I mean, like I say, when you've um because I have a theory like that, like the first like seven to eight years of your life is the most crucial because that's kind of when you develop yeah. your habits of how you learn and how you perceive the world. So if you're kind of like given Christianity and just all the fear of like, oh yeah, you're gonna go to hell if you don't believe in this. It's hard to like fully break that programming, even once you do come into the conscious information, because it's just so deeply embedded. You know, you've been going to church all them years, healing, you know, hearing the pastor yell and shit and seeing people run around and all the music. It's just deeply in your subconscious. So a lot of times, you know, that's really people's true, I guess, foundation um, spiritually a lot of times. And it takes a lot of work to really like remove that programming. So um yeah like it's one of those things man where it's like it takes a lot of time it's not it's not as easy as people make it seem on the internet um you know reprogramming a deeply held belief it, it takes time you know um and it's easier for some people than others but um yeah it's like it, i definitely noticed that as well though like a lot of people over the past few years yeah a lot of people definitely went back to the church definitely mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, why do you think um, that, you know, we all hear about the mama mentality and we see how great Kobe was at basketball, absolutely 100% dedicated to his craft. We see Michael Jordan dedicated. We seen Floyd May Mayweather dedicated to his craft. We seen a lot of people in the entertainment field dedicated to their craft and we see right. the outcome. Why do you think it's easier for them to be so dedicated, wake up, train 15, 16 hours a day? Why is it so easy? for them to be dedicated but it seems hard for people to be dedicated to the spiritual path and really do the, the meditation for three hours you do the, the the yoga i like i don't hear about i don't hear the mamba mentality when it comes <laughs> to spirituality but i hear about it when it comes to sports so i'm just curious as yeah. to why is that why that might be yeah i think um because a lot of times with spirituality like most people are like reward driven um <clears throat> and a lot of times like oh. there is no like tangible reward at least like that you can see immediately when you engage in spiritual practices so you might start doing the meditation you might start you know like doing rituals and you might not see a noticeable you know effect in your physical reality immediately so a lot of people will kind of just give up mm -hmm. um and i just think like when it comes to sports and different things there's more of like a pathway with that to actually see 
mm-hmm. um, tangible results for people. Whereas like with spirituality, it's kind of like, I mean, what are you even really doing this for? Um, because a lot of people right. get into this and I feel like a lot of people become spiritual really just to try to like flex on other people or kind of try to like make them feel, make themselves feel superior, but it's not really about, you know, accomplishing their own personal goals. It's kind of like, this is kind of just like another decoration for the ego. Um, and so, yeah, that's mm-hmm. kind of how, that's kind of how I look at a certain, a certain way. I think a lot of people come into this without really without really a real knowing or destination of what they're trying to do. Um, like I say, versus entertainment, it's like, okay, if I'm making music, I know that one day I want to, you know, sell a million records or go on tour or get a record deal or, you know, make great music. Whereas with spirituality, (laughs) it's like, you know, what's, what's your intention and only, only you can really determine that. So, um, yeah, I just think it's, it's a little different, um, when you get into spirituality because the, the outer world, I feel like, doesn't respect it as much. Um, because, you know, if you tell the average person, like, yeah, you know, I'm going to spend the next five to 10 years, you know, meditating, you know, I'm going to just go off the grid and just focus 100% on spirituality. Most people wouldn't really know how to respond to that or relate to that. Um, so I just think it's a mm. different dynamic um, with the spiritual versus, you know, the entertainment and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I definitely agree. More people should be like that, you know. Mm, indeed. indeed. Before, once again, family, I want to take some Q and A from y'all tonight. Before we get out of here, I got the link in the chat posted again. We taking some. Um, I want y'all to share an experience, or if you have a question for the brother in terms of the topic tonight, click the link that I just shared in the chat and uh, come on the show. I or learn from each other. Um, so I just posted the link, y'all. So if you don't want to come on, click on the link. Before we get to some questions, I see a couple of people in the back right now. What are some of the main ways, would you say, to activate these psychic abilities? Like, what can we do when we when we end the show and the people can start to implement the rest of this year and the rest of their lives that you think is some of the best, great ways that have maybe have worked for you that they can start to implement in their lives? Um, yeah, one thing you can do that's like pretty simple that doesn't require a lot <clears throat> is you want to you want to get into like um, dark therapy. So you want to like spend time in a room of like complete darkness. You want to unplug all the electronics. Mm. You want to unplug anything that can kind of interfere with the energy. And you want to like start mm. meditating and just spending time in that dark room, because what that'll do is that it'll actually um, get your body to release more melatonin. And that will kind of allow you to get deeper into like a trance like state. And that's really the key to awakening a lot of this stuff is like you have to bypass the conscious filter and kind of go into like that trance, like more subconscious um, realm of the mind. Um, And so meditating in a dark room um, that can help you a lot. Um, And just meditating in general, you know, visualization will probably be your best friend. You know, a lot of people don't really just understand the power of just every single day just doing certain visualization exercises so just simple things like i'll just imagine just like golden light Mm -hmm. descending from the sky and just coming into my pineal gland or i'll just absorb the energy around me and just you know move that energy from the crown through the body and rotate that energy um around the body through the chakras um doing things like this can wake up that dormant part of you and it can awaken these psychic centers within the body. Um, and you know, this is kind of when we started talking about like astral traveling and remote viewing, just simple things, just like closing your eyes and getting in tune with your astral body. So getting in tune, um, just with even practicing astral traveling, like a lot of people don't know that you can just be sitting on your bed or just sitting somewhere on the couch and just mentally see yourself stand up from the couch and just walk across the room just doing simple right. things like that and expanding upon that over time can really have a profound effect um and you know like i say repetition and like you were saying that mamba mentality of re- doing this repetitively over and over and over again and kind of just making it a mm-hmm. daily part of your routine and your life you know you'll see over time that you'll just be a lot more perceptive. You'll be able to kind of like see things before they happen and you'll just be more aware because a lot of 
um, a lot of being psychic really just has to do with increasing your sensitivity to energy. Um, and you can only do this by focusing on it, by focusing on your breathing, by focusing on the subtle energy patterns that's always, you know, moving around us. Um, so yeah, meditation is key, but yeah, that dark room that can really like, um, do a lot. So yeah, that's just like some basic stuff that people can do without, you know, going too crazy. Right. Right. Hey, what, what would you tell people? I know one of the big things for a lot of people is, um, <clears throat> when they're meditating and they're tapping into these, these, these things is that they feel like they're going to lose control. Uh, yeah. You get to a point in your meditation where you feel like you're losing control. Like we all know what having control over ourselves is. And sometimes like, let's say you get drunk, you lose control. You do a okay. shroom, you feel like you lose control. Meditation has that ability to feel like you're losing control. So what, what would you advice would you give to people who'd be like, oh shit, this feel like I'm, I'm losing control. Like I was drunk or some shit. What, what advice <laughs> would you give to that person? Yeah. I mean, a lot of times it's actually just like the conscious mind is really kind of just like fear trying to like hold you back because a lot of times when you have like those real breakthrough experiences, it's going to be a little scary a lot of times because you're going beyond your own limitations. You're going beyond, you know, what you may not think that you can actually go beyond. So it's it's almost like your your conscious mind wants you to remain the same, you know, um, <clears throat> because right. you're you're comfortable with who you are. So when you actually start to go beyond that and actually tap into a spiritual frequency for real, your current self mm -hmm. can kind of try to sabotage you. So a lot of times that's actually what that feeling is. It's really kind of just like mm -hmm. you kind of like fighting <clears throat> against yourself. Um, so, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, I and then also to just like continuing to practice because I went through that myself. But it's like after I kept practicing, I was able to gain more control over that feeling. Um, so when you have that, that's actually a good thing. It actually means you're on the verge um, of a major breakthrough. Yo, the conscious mind, real quick, I just want to share this with y'all. The yeah. conscious mind is so tricky. It's so tricky. I'm going to tell you how tricky it is. Sometimes when I'm trying to meditate, <clears throat> and not trying, sometimes when I'm meditating, and, you know, you're focusing on, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, work I'm practicing my focusing ability. So I'm focusing on one particular thing. My conscious mind will break it, try to break it by giving me a good thought, by not giving me a bad thought, because a bad thought is obvious. I don't want to go there, but it'll mm -hmm. give me a good thought. It'll give me an answer that I was looking for months ago. It'll tell me to look at a picture of my son. And <laughs> of course, you're going to be like, well, damn, let me look at it. But I, I had to tell myself now is not the time for that. So, yeah. you know, if thought is good or bad, it just get, it gets real tricky because it knows how to get you from stop folk that focus and shit. A lot oh, of yeah. people, it's hard for a lot of people, man. But oh, yeah. just want to share that real quick with y'all. Oh, yeah, no, that's real. I I'm glad you brought that up <laughs> because um, I was doing some research and there was a study yeah. that kind that came out kind of recently that was like, um, I don't know if it was 40% or 50%, but like 40 to 50% of people actually don't have like an internal monologue or it's like they can't hear their own thoughts um, and they can't visualize. So... Um, and what's interesting about that is like, I remember some years ago, like I was talking to a dude in my neighborhood and um, it's like this spot that I used to go and meditate. It's like just a little small park within the neighborhood. And um, yeah. he was like, yeah, bro. He was like, man, tell me more about meditation. And I was like, you know, yeah, you can visualize things, you know, calm in the mind. And he was like, bro, anytime I try to visualize something, I, I can't see anything. And that was kind of mind boggling to me because I didn't know that there was a lot of people that, you know, can't really imagine or can't use, um, you know, these powers of visualization. So I kind of try to tell people, too, that if you can imagine and visualize things that you really are ahead of a lot of people, because you'll be surprised how many people can't even do that. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy when um, because a lot of times I think we don't realize the abilities that we already have because we're kind of just looking kind of too broad at, you know, a particular way of how these powers could manifest when a lot of times we don't even realize that we're using them um, already. So, yeah, I just think it's levels to everything. And, um, you know, you kind of have to focus on the level that you're at um, and just, you know, take it step by step instead of trying to, like, go too far too soon, because a lot of times yeah. it's those small steps 
that really like make the biggest difference. Indeed. Yo, amazing, amazing advice so far tonight, yo. Amazing advice, amazing conversation. So now let me get to this first caller. Okay. Uh, let's get to uh, Bulos. Am I saying your name right? Bulos? What's up, bro? Bulos, that's right. Can, can y'all hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, brother, yeah. Peace question, and blessings. Question, and question or comment for my brother Merkaba? Yes, yes, uh, brother Merkaba. Pl pleasure to talk to you uh, and brother Rich. Um, I, I basically want to say I do consider myself a, a clairvoyant, uh, and I I do feel uh, and what you what you said just earlier about being sensitive to energy. I think that's really what it is. You, you'd be able to sense, um, you know, the the how how things are or how the other person you know is or or the vibes basically yeah. but um yeah i feel like i can tap into um you know um whatever i set my mind to but there's always wealth blocks i feel like they're always on me and mm. anything i do i just can't i just can't get past them and um do you think this is something that i should use my psychic ability or clairvoyancy to to achieve or what, what do you think um about that Oh, um, you say you say you having wealth blocks, like, um, like particularly like as far yes. as like with money and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like I try to, you know, um, you, you know, say to myself, I'm I'm worthy of more, or try to attract a bit more of that. Yeah. Um, I can attract anything else I set my mind to in life in general, but the money seems to be uh, uh, running away from me. Um, I did uh, meet a um, a coach. Uh, Brother Rich, you had Dr. B on your show the other day, and he was saying, um, uh, get you a life coach. And the day after that, a life coach approached me, and um, she told me, I feel like I need to do this for you. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. But my credit score yeah. is really bad, so I couldn't get a loan to pay her. She's uh, mm -hmm. she, she charges like seven grand or something. Um, so then this alignment was happening, and, and you know, the the – yeah like the insect breaking out of its shell and you know going through that transformation period i feel like it's happening to me too at the moment and and she yeah. said to me i'll advise you to get a ancestral cleanse uh, i know a friend of mine she does ancestral cleansing and she's like to me this could be what's blocking you from um you know thriving yeah um do, do, do you think this is do you think it could be my ancestral cleanse or my fa is it family thing or i'm really not uh, sure what's the, yeah it what's could the be i mean it could be a variety of different things yeah i mean i definitely would agree that um you know doing some type of cleansing ritual whether it's ancestral whether it's just even just on a personal level um that could definitely help clear a lot of things up because a lot of times like we do kind of have these subconscious blockages um and yeah sometimes it can be ancestral Sometimes it can just be like, you know, the way that you was brought up or kind of just like, you know, the thoughts that you have towards money. Um, so, yeah, I would definitely do like some rituals. I would definitely start working with like green candles um, and I would definitely just start trying to create an atmosphere um, of wealth around you. So, you know, just kind of start like, you know, just treating yourself more, um, you know, kind of just start like, you know, speaking power to yourself. Um, because I used to kind of be in a similar situation of like having a lot of money problems. And a lot of times it was my relationship with money because I still kind of had a subconscious thought of like, oh, yeah, money is evil. And, you know, the system is is evil. And I kind of had to like get over those those thoughts to really kind of open up um, the abundance that, you know, um, that I rightfully deserve. So, yeah, it's just like, you know, it's a lot of subconscious work. But, yeah, definitely. um rituals um that can definitely help um even like detoxing the body um just starting creating new habits just creating a new energy and just a new atmosphere for yourself a lot of times can like do a lot of um good things for that absolutely yeah i, de I definitely gotta get my eating habits better and, and all that <laughs> yeah bro, i appreciate you know. y'all man thank you thank you so much yeah, no Let's problem man. Blessings to yeah. you same thank you so much my brother take care all right all right peace yes, sir. appreciate you all right Let's get to Elijah L. Elijah L, are you there? Oh. Are you there, my brother? Yo. One second, one second. One second. You can hear me? Yo, what's yes. good, bro? Yes. Yo, what's yes. happening? All right. All hey, right. Um, I just got a quick question. What's up? Mm -hmm. Um, How important are brain waves in the topic of tapping into psychic ability? And what's the most crucial brain wave that will allow you to tap in most effectively? 
Oh yeah, that's that's a good question. Yeah, brain waves um is definitely important. I kind of touched on that a little earlier, but basically you have like the beta waves, you have the gamma waves, the theta waves, and the alpha waves. So you really want to get to that alpha theta wave. Um, and you can really only do that by getting to a level of deep relaxation. So a lot of us, we have a lot of stress, we have a lot of things that we worry about constantly, and this can kind of like inhibit a lot of like your your abilities from coming online. So you definitely want to start just, you know, you have to be able to put yourself into a state of total relaxation. And kind of like I was saying earlier, you really want to try to get into like a trance like state. Um, and, you know, it's like certain like music you can listen to. Like they have like um, the different chakra tones and different frequencies that kind of correspond to different parts of the body. But yeah, deep relaxation, bro. Like you really kind of have to like, you know, get out of that stressful energy you might have to even like detach from negative people environments because we can kind of pick up on other people's energy um a lot of times and that can kind of be what throws people off so yeah brain waves is key you know meditation relaxation um certain sounds um you know just like removing a lot of the stress from your life can allow you to tap into those brain waves um and yeah that's definitely a, um, a key to um tapping into those abilities Definitely. So most that most that appreciate it. Hey, appreciate so, the question, my brother. Oh yeah. Yeah, I take it. Yes, sir. Right, peace. All right, let's get to the next caller. We got uh D Naj. Yo, what's good, bro? What's going on, Naj and AJ? Nice to meet you, bro. Yep. Uh, uh, thanks for putting me on. I ain't think uh, I ain't think that was gonna happen. All right, so my question is how far um, or how much psycho psychic ability have you gained like uh, since you started? At, like, like, what did you do? And I wanted to say uh, rest in peace, Brother Panic, because he always said, like, use your imagination. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. And I, that worked for me. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's real. That's real. Yeah, I mean, like, as far as, like, me personally, it's, like, I kind of always had, like, you know, certain abilities. Like, I could always kind of, like, see spirits. But, like I say, it's, like, I would tell my mom about this, and she would be, like, man, that's the devil. Stop doing that. So, it's, like, I kind of, like, inhibited my own abilities um, because of that. But the thing about, like, being psychic, like I say, it's, like, it's not something that you can, like, measure a lot of times, like, with something... um you know, that's like more, I guess, physical. So you measure yeah. just based upon like your own life. So <clears throat> I just had to learn how to like, you know, really trust my intuition because I'm very good with like just reading people. So usually when I meet somebody, I can like tell a lot about them kind of like right Happy off death. the jump. <clears throat> but it's like, I would try to give people benefits of the doubt instead of just going with like what I was actually feeling. So um, I just had to learn how to trust myself more, bro. And it's like just over time, the more I did that, the more that I could be correct with my intuitions. Um, and that's kind of like just gave me the ability to get to where I'm at now. It's just like making the right moves, being around the right people. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's not something that's like like immediately like, you know, that you can measure like that. It's just you'll just start to see over time that it's like, damn, like I was about to go to this place. Something told me not to go. And then something bad happened there. And you'll just kind of start to see more and more instances like that, the more that you develop. Yeah, I got you on that. I'm a, I'm a street dude. I like I was raised in the street. So yeah, you yeah. got to You got to trust your intuition or whatever. You got to trust your gut. So I, I, I'm with you on that. But I was saying, like, as far as like accuracy like how is it things that I, I was wondering if you did like uh you know like like i heard billy carson said like how the cia was um or whatever they had things going on where people uh like could locate things and stuff like that i was i was thinking you did stuff like that yeah um it's a book called uh psi spies psi psi spies by jim mars um and that book goes deep into like all the cia remote viewing stuff um right 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 right. yeah so like that's that's a good book that um you can probably um pick up 
but honestly like a lot of like my abilities i really kind of more so use for my personal self so it's Tell like i don't really like you know because some people use their psych abilities to like communicate with the dead or to like you know do particular things kind of like what you mentioned but i kind of more right, so right, right. use it for my personal life for so sure. that's kind of like that, that that's probably the difference for me so it's like yeah i'm not like the person that tried to predict events and like stuff like that you know um because like i said it's different right, 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 right. You know, yeah 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 that's what yeah, that's yeah. what i was trying to understand i appreciate y'all yeah. man for let me allow me to ask my question Peace. Oh, yeah you good bro appreciate that mm -hmm. all right all right yeah, I'm definitely uh, enjoying this, man. I'm definitely enjoying this, Macaba. Oh, yeah. Shout out to um, we got about, uh, let me see. We got about 20 minutes left. I'm going to be on here for about 21 minutes. I'm going to share the link one more time. For if you would like to ask the brother a question or if you got a comment about your particular psychic abilities, you're more than welcome to come on the show. We're sharing with each other. We're learning all from each other tonight. It's a great night. Great night, fam. Let's get to David. I know David. What's up, David? Where you at, man? Come on, David. Right here, man. Work, bro. My work, right. man. What's good, bro. On, brother, good to see you. Hey, good to see y'all as well, man. Appreciate both of y'all. I'm a copper, you know, brother Rich. Everything you do, man. Yeah. Thank y'all so much. Bro. Just all. When you say that, just all, man. Appreciate <laughs> it, bro. No, my comment is, uh, I remember when Huna Flash was on here, and uh, you sound a little low. You sound a little low, David. You sound low. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah that's good. That. No, I was saying, I remember when Huna Flash was on here, and it was funny when he was talking about, I think you either, you either asked him a question about looking at the sun, like, during, like, the non, like, you know, uh, times that they always tell you to look at the sun, like, looking at the sun, like, doing, like, you know, like, the, the, the height of the sun time, like, 12 o'clock or any other time during the day. I, I was already thinking about that. But then once he said it, I said, I was already thinking about it. So I took that and, like, like, Aquarius Bestman says, stop asking for permission. I took it that as that that was my, my time to do it. Ever since I started doing it, I'm talking about everything that my senses and everything has been heightened. Heightened, yeah. like what? a whole different kind of level. Even like, you know, normally you'll you'll come out in the sun and, you, and kind of blind you a little bit. Doesn't even do it like yeah. that no more. It's almost mm -hmm. like the sun is like saying like, welcome, welcome back. Yeah. Yeah, that's wow. powerful. How long you did it for? Man, I'm telling you, how long you ever for? since like that episode, so maybe a, a month or so ago, or maybe a, a month and a half. I'm telling you. Right. And now when I look at it, it's like it, 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 and like he said, it looked like a portal. You can kind of mm. see like the circle, and then you see the colors kind of just start to dance. And then I'm telling you, because I, I do a lot of meditation too, and I ground, and then my meditation it just went to another level. Like it's just I'm getting mm. stuff that I ain't even. Yeah, it's just getting like a lot of different stuff. Also, I actually been uh, writing light language too. I didn't even know what that was, but I just yeah. yeah. I, you tapped I in. Hold on, hold on, hey, yeah. hold on. Let me show. Hold on, let me. Let me hold on, brother. Hey, 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 hey look like you got something going put on. Put the camera close. Oh shit! Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. So, cause I didn't even know what it was. I was calling it meditation on um, writing, and then I looked it up, and I was like, "What are they calling it?" Cause I already knew what light language was, and then that was like, okay. That's very interesting. So it's just a lot of stuff that's been happening. I say, hey, if you know, if you if you ready for it, you know, take that glance at the sun and just kind of stare and you know what I'm saying, say your affirmations and say all your stuff that you want to be. Don't like Aquarius Messman said she was perfect when she said that. Don't ask for permission to know your spirit and your guys are already telling you, just go. Right. Just go. But hey, appreciate you. Hey, I'm already tapping into your Instagram, bro. You be on point with a lot of stuff you're saying. And I appreciate, appreciate it, bro. bro. So, appreciate it bro okay, no nah, i mean yeah you really okay. dropped you really dropped the gym too bro sun gazing is definitely powerful yeah. so yeah i'm glad i'm, I'm glad he yeah. put that he i'm glad he put that on um on the live for um everybody watching because yeah i had some pretty powerful experiences sun gazing as well um so yeah like that's definitely a good way to um to tap in mm -hmm. indeed indeed shout out to huna also for dropping that gem on this and shout out to david keep you good keep the work a good work up my brother let's get to uh Wild Rose eight eight. Uh, no, hold on, brother. I gotta get. I got one person before you. Hold on, brother. Uh, this sister was first. Let me get to Wild Rose eight eight eight. Hi. What's up? What's up? Peace. 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 What's going on? How you doing? Great. Good. Good. Peace, brother Rich. Thank you for having me on here again. This is my second time. Oh, yeah. Um. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm like looking at my computer. Um. <clears throat> so Merkaba, I know that you deal with. 
I, I watched your, your interview on uh, Brother Rich's show the last time, and I know you were talking about your story and how you had um, like a life changing circumstance. Right. And I think you kind of talked more about dealing with like the dark side of, yeah. of forces. Now I'm a person where I'm into esotericism um, and I come from, you know, light and love and all that stuff. But I'm, you know, I, I always say it never gave only light and love. Like when it comes to me, I, that's the energy that I push out, but it comes from knowing darkness in order to have love. Like, and that's something that people don't understand or respect. Like, you know, you think like right. lovers or love people are like soft, but it's like the only reason we can't be soft is because we know what it is to have exactly. them broken. To, you know what I mean? To be in the dark and it's choosing the light. Like, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a choice. Um, but on the other side of that, there's a power in the darkness. So I just wanted you to talk a little bit on your path. Like, I don't know. I've just been hearing a lot that's just having me thinking on what does it mean to be light? What does it mean to be dark? Like, what are, what are these things? I mean, what energies are you pulling from them and how do you use them? Like, so for somebody like me, that's like, you know, like a lover, like how, what would you suggest that, like, what kind of energies or powers I could tap into? Yeah. Um, well, yeah, I mean, the thing about like light and darkness is that a lot of people kind of like associate light with good and dark with evil. Right. Um, but that's not really what we're talking about. Um, really, right. like the dark side of yourself is really just the part of you that you kind of suppress or don't really like put as much attention towards. And it's really just potential energy. You know, darkness mm. really makes up more of the universe than what we can see um, or perceive as light. You know, I think like right. 70 dark to matter. 90 percent. Yeah. Dark matter is <laughs> really makes up most of the universe. So when we're talking about darkness, we're really just talking about potential energy. Um, and so it can be anything which can make it dangerous to certain people. Because yeah. if you don't really understand how to properly work with it, like I said, it's your own potential. So within us, like, you know, you have, you know, the potential to be violent. You have the potential to do, quote unquote, bad things. But you also have the potential to do the opposite. So it's just about kind of learning when and how to use all of these different energies that's available right. to us, um, you know, when the time is appropriate. But yeah, darkness is is just, you know, your potential. It's just, you know, the part that we don't really pay attention to or see. So it's not really about like good and evil or like right and wrong. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's just about principles of, of energy. Okay, no, for sure. One of the examples I like to take from that is um, Christianity. When I first started breaking out of Christianity, and I remember seeing this image on YouTube of a demon that was like, and it was like Christian, it was like, oh, this is a demon, it's a demon. But then I looked at Hindu, and it was a god. And I was like, is that okay, y'all bullshit. Somebody lying. Somebody's lying. Yeah. And I mean, that's the thing. It's like when you see like those types of images, like mm -hmm. um, those represent like like i was saying kind of like personality traits um right. and really is showing you how to take things that may appear not to be you know good and mm -hmm. transform them with your mind and through alchemy so a lot of times those darker images is really meant for you to do the work to find the beauty in them and to find the value and the meaning beyond just the surface level so yeah a lot of times like with the with those types of like um, representations it can be misconstrued as like something evil when a lot of times it's just a deeper meaning than than the surface you got to be able to look beyond the surface absolutely beautiful beautiful thank you Fact. Hey. no problem no problem hey. uh, thank thanks for calling in while thank right. you all right peace let's get to the next caller we got viz viz uh what, what's your name brother i don't know what's your name? Viz, viz mystic that's my uh i own a okay. Spirituality and Meditation App Company. That's the name of the company. Oh, excellent. But, uh, I, don't wanna... <laughs> I don't want to take too much too much time. I just want to share a quick comment. Uh, mm -hmm. I appreciate what both you guys are doing. Um, mm -hmm. Really, really giving the uh, giving the knowledge to the people. Real quick, if you want to unlock your powers, shadow work. That's the number one thing you can do. When you look into the mirror, do you actually know who's looking back at you, or do you mm -hmm. only know what other people have told you about yourself? A lot of us are walking around living our life, living other people's story. And that right. in itself can put a huge damper on your abilities and your ability to unlock your truest potential. So definitely do your shadow work. I don't want to take up too much more time, but thank you guys so much for having me on. Hey, that's Thanks real, bro. That's, 
Yeah, that's like, fact. Give, give your shout out. Give your um your company a shout out. What's how? What's well, yeah, your, um... just like it, just like it is in the in the name. Viz, Viz Mystic. You go to vizmystic.com. Put your apps on there for iOS meditation. There's shadow work on there. Whatever you guys oh. need, it's on there. Oh, yeah, right, keep, man. keep up the good work. Yes, sir. All right, let's get to the next caller, uh, Pata. Yo. Positive vibes, my brothers. What's going on, King? I just got one quick question. Um, how do you feel about pine cone or pine needle extraction for the pineal gland? Honestly, um, I'm not too like I've never personally done it, so I can't give you like my advice or anything I haven't personally done. But um, it sounds interesting, bro. I know like the pine cone definitely symbolizes um the pineal gland so like i said i can't give you my advice on something i've never done so um like are you potentially about to like try it yeah i want to i want to make a extraction myself and mix it with some of the kt honey and and see how that thing do okay 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 yeah it sounds interesting bro like i say i've never done it so i can't really like tell you too much about it but it sounds interesting bro i i really want to do more research on it now that you brought it up honestly well how can i own um, link with you you know to see if um, you try it or not um yeah i mean yeah you can hit me up on instagram bro that's probably like where i'm most active at so you can like send me a dm on there and then you know we can maybe chop it up or you can book like a consultation if you want to like really go in depth about anything but yeah like just hit me up on instagram bro this your name Merkel about 13. yeah same name okay for sure yes, and rich sir. i got a question for you if you don't mind good brother good man i'm loving what you're doing with that produce with the production on them beats man do you have it how can i link up with you for some beats i will let everybody know soon stay tuned for okay. that. I'll, I'll make okay. an announcement soon about that i got something that i'm getting ready to roll out before the year's out and i'll let everybody know yeah, okay I, for sure my brother I appreciate the support my brother thank you so much Yes, yeah, sir. Y'all take it easy, man. Life and love. For sure. You too, brother. Peace. Peace. All right, let's get to the next caller. We got da Davion. Davion, is that, is that how you Yo. Hey, man. What's, what's up, good, man? bro? Peace, guys. Peace. 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 Man, first, peace. I ain't going to be cap, man. I've been rocking with uh, Black Magic for a little minute. My uh, my little bro put me on. But uh, overall, though, I've been Yo. on my spirit journey for like two years now. I've been reading... Um, mm -hmm. Spirituality, uh, before religion by uh, Professor Cobble. Word, yeah, I'm in tired of it, but my uh, two questions is the first one is I got a girl I just started talking to her, she uh, she uh, a newborn again Christian, but she know the path that I'm on, and um, she understands me, she listens, and uh, she hears me out, but at the same time, though, some things that I tell her she's fearful because oh, the Bible says this, and the past says too much knowledge is. Is uh confusing, but I'm like, we're we with regards. The knowledge is there. You you want to seek the truth, you don't want to be told lies. So I'm trying to lead her in the right direction. But at the same time, I know that y'all say um everybody's spiritual journey is different. So right. um, mm -hmm. I'm just trying to figure out like the patience of getting her acclimated to see the truth while mm -hmm. not disrespecting her. Yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's like, um, yeah, it's always kind of like a tough situation dealing with things like that. But yeah, I mean, the only thing I can say is just approach the situation with as much compassion as possible and kind of like don't try to like force your ideas, but kind of just like show, um, just kind of like share information. Um, because what I've seen is like a lot of times, like people can change their beliefs over time, um, especially if they see that your beliefs is actually having a more positive outcome and a more positive effect in life so um yeah i would just say lead by example bro because i mean if you you know standing on the knowledge that that you have is really like beneficial um you know i don't really see how she could argue with that if it is like actually helping you um so yeah i would just say you know share share knowledge share information um <clears throat> but you know like at the same time you know like you say everyone kind of has their own belief but you know i don't i don't really like because i have friends that are christians that are muslims and all type of different things and it's like you can find like a common ground um it just depends on how much you willing to compromise how much she willing to compromise and how much the relationship 
um, you know, really means to both of y'all. So okay, okay, cool. And uh also I'll be um this is, this is my last question. Um I be activating though, uh the, cause they talk about the cooling energy, you want to rise the cooling energy from the root to your crown. And I be meditating right. daily. I go from the uh, the root to the sacral to the solar plex to the uh to the heart. I'm on heart today, to the throat, to the uh third eye, to the crown. And uh I actually when I meditate, I see like the um the colors like a dot. Mm. You know, and uh and uh I, I I'm just going by what I seen off of YouTube and when I read that's like your third eye open. It, it might not open up all the way because uh they says like a dot, but it gets stronger <laughs> as you continue to meditate and uh change octave tones. Right. And I'm trying to make sure like I'm on the right path or continue to be aligned because um well, well how do I know that I'm aligned because I also read that if bees are around you and babies are around you and animals are like you then that means you're of high frequency being. I'm just trying to make sure that like, that's right. Yeah, I mean that's um that's that's generally can be correct. Um, but yeah, I mean yeah, if you're seeing, if you're able to perceive like these colors, and if you're seeing these things, I mean you definitely are aligned. Like I say, a lot of people, I mean most people in the world, bro, will never get to that point of like meditating and even giving a fuck about chakras. So the fact that you're even doing that is already a certain level of alignment. Um, so yeah, I would just say keep doing it. But um, yeah, bro, like um, yeah, if like babies, if like animals kind of gravitate towards you, that usually is a sign that you know you um your energy is activated in a certain way. So yeah, I would just tell you to keep doing what you're doing, bro. Just keep learning, um, stay grounded, keep um, you know, keep doing everything you're doing. It sounds like you're on the right path, um, from what I'm hearing. Yeah, for sure, man. And I just followed you too. And uh Black Magic, thanks to you, man. I, I think it was you uh who had that documentary on on the uh what the little series you did 144,000 the chosen 144 uh I'm not sure I know I did one video on that but I'm not sure yeah. I didn't have a series on it I did one video on it with uh, I think yeah 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 like, yeah I think it was one video you was talking about the game the right on the right delta right god frequency uh uh uh-huh. right 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 oh. I think I but, think but, that I think but, that that's the brother B Dell yeah okay but I, I still fuck with but I appreciate y'all though man oh yeah right. no problem man appreciate, appreciate it. thank you brother oh. all right oh. all right Let's get to, we're going to get to two more, two more questions, quick questions that we're going to get out of here. Macabre, man, this is beautiful, man. I want to thank you, man, for, for doing this. Oh, yeah, this. same, bro. Yeah, man, it's always lit, bro, every time we link up, man. like I, I know you do the consultations, and I want the people to highlight you and get the, because your story, if, if, you know, if you if you guys was, if y'all was here for the, for the first show we did, his story is absolutely amazing. This brother's definitely tapped in, and, um, you know, you go to his Instagram to hear what the, the brother explains it on his Instagram, but. Yeah, the brother's been through a lot, and it, it, a lot he has had, had to overcome. And a brother could definitely be of amazing help and service for the rest of us. So I definitely want y'all to connect with this brother right here. Let's get to the uh, these last two questions. We got uh, Jerome. Yo, yeah, Jaron. Okay, peace. Yeah. Okay, so my, my question is, how can I be more stoic uh, as an empath, like so where people other people energy like don't affect me? Hmm. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, yeah, I mean, for one thing, like um, I always recommend meditation. That's always like a good thing because a lot of times it's like you kind of have to learn how to like kind of put yourself in a bubble almost um, to kind of like not allow other people's vibrations to kind of like affect you and kind of like always just be, you know, like a pillar to where it's like you're not moved by what's really going on out- outside of you. Um and that just comes from like just practice, bro. Um, you know, I would definitely say, you know, just building discipline within yourself. So like things like fasting, things like working out, um, even things like just reading and studying, like all of these things build discipline. To be stoic, you have to be disciplined, which means that you can't really be somebody that's easily swayed or influenced um, by other people. Um, and, you know, just being a leader um, and, you know, not really being afraid to you know, disagree with people or not being afraid to, you know, explain, you know, how you feel about things. Because a lot of times, <clears throat> you know, a lot of times we kind of will, you know, minimize ourselves to make other people more comfortable. But, you know, a lot of times you kind of just have to like, you know, just know who you are, bro. And just like be just be 100 percent unapologetic about that. Um, So, yeah, just, you know, just leadership, bro. Like, you know, at the end of the day, as a man, like a lot of times people will kind of look to you naturally to be a leader. 
um and you kind of just have to like step up and fulfill that role a lot of time so yeah i think you already pretty much got it bro it's just about it's in a lot of it also has to do with like just not giving a fuck you know it's like knowing that it's like okay certain people is not gonna like me for you know how i am or how i move or how i think but me having integrity you know and not really caring too much and not saying that you should be an asshole but you know just being having integrity with who you are bro just really goes a long way so right, and also sure, i definitely it. i definitely want you I definitely i think this is you got to do this marcus aurelius he was a roman emperor um like 161 ad to 180 180 ad he had a, he has a a series of personal writings called meditations and they got the audio they got the audio version on youtube you can go to youtube and listen to it but it's a must have if you want to go down that stoic path it's a must have marcus aurelius an ill roman emperor he has amazing med um, um personal writings it's called meditations definitely look into that brother you can start tonight go to youtube and start listening to it tonight but it'll definitely help you along your journey with that you know right appreciate it thanks for calling thanks for calling all yeah, right sure. let's get we got uh hold up what happened uh my brother can you hear me well told me yes sir yes sir Yo, all right, all right. Good, what's happening brother uh yes so my question is in terms of meditation right so i've been reading this book called cyclomancy and yeah, great book yeah great book. right so like i've been reading this book doing these exercises and i've noticed uh your pineal gland is kind of like a muscle in right. terms of like you kind of got like kind of work it out so i've been feeling like kind of this sharp pain in the back of my head lately right mm. and recently uh i've been starting to see like light images of dragons by meditating like that. Mm. and i saw this phoenix looking creature with like a giant eye and I was wondering how, how can I see more of these images in terms of like meditating and visualizing images? Because it, it was just light images. It wasn't just me daydreaming, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah, honestly, it sounds like you um you really tapped in. Like if you meditating and like seeing images, um, I would really say whatever you did to get to that point, um, to keep doing that. Because the thing about like meditation is that <clears throat> you know, your mind is separate from your brain, like you know your mind is on a whole different dimension so you can perceive things that you may not see in the physical world and like you were saying it is a muscle and the more that you use it through visualizing things through actually you know doing these practices it becomes stronger um so yeah i mean honestly if you was to just keep meditating um i'm pretty sure that you will have more and more profound experiences and um you know i mean it's really two ways you can really meditate you can either have like passive meditation where you just allow you know the thoughts to come where you kind of just focus on emptying your mind then you have like the more active meditation where you have a specific goal and an intent um and you kind of like visualize the things that you want to see so um yeah honestly i think really it sounds like you already tapped in like if you already because I, i've had those feelings too of like where you kind of feel like almost like a pain in the pineal right, right. um so yeah it's like it definitely sounds like you having some activity um so yeah, i would just keep doing what you're doing bro honestly okay thank you no problem Peace. indeed all right but thanks for the call real quick i want to ask y'all in the chat brother panda got a book somebody say he had a book about darkness i, I didn't because i know he had the book about um hollywood uh but if it is i gotta check out his website brother does brother panic have a book on the subconscious mind let me know because I, I gotta go to his website yeah i think i remember him does. talking about it but yeah I, I i don't know if he like put it out um but i do remember him talking about um a book about that oh yeah i gotta gotta check that out that subconscious man that's important you had another video of macabre on your um instagram when you was talking about reprogramming the dna and that's something yeah. that a lot of a lot of us think we're stuck we think we're stuck with the dna we have but we don't yeah. really know the science of reprogramming he was talking about the neuropeptides and all of that can you get into that oh. a little bit oh yeah i mean it's just like you know your thoughts your emotions like basically if i think you know a whole bunch of negative thoughts right now um or if i just get real mad about something it's gonna actually like release those neuropeptides into my bloodstream which is going to actually alter my body um and that's the thing is like when we start talking about like the aura 
you know, mm. it's an atmosphere around you that has been built up based upon the thoughts, based upon the emotions, based upon the experiences that you've had in life. And when you have like a majority of like bad experiences, it creates that negative aura that will kind of keep attracting those situations to you. So it's kind of like in relationships, like, you know, how people say, oh, you know, I can't find a good man or I can't find, you know, a good partner. A lot of times it's so much trauma that has accumulated within their aura based upon their past experiences that that's their point of attraction. Um, and so, you know, like their DNA, their cells, your cells is responding to your thoughts, your emotions, right. the things right. that you feed it. Um, and so, yeah, it's like your DNA and your cells regenerate themselves, you know, every, you know, couple months and every few years, you pretty much get like a whole new set of cells. But if you're not intentionally learning new things, if you're not actually focusing on self-improving, then, you know, it's basically like you're recycling the same negative thoughts. And this is why it's hard for people to break out of those, you know, um, those thought patterns. Is because they've programmed their cells and their DNA based upon, you know, the negative events um, and environments in their life. So, yeah, bro, it's deep. But, yeah, you can definitely change, you know, um, you know, even like your personality type. Like, you know, a lot of people think that they're shy. It's like, I mean, you can change that if you was just to actively make it a point to just go outside every day and talk to more people. Eventually, it will actually change your energy to the point where you wouldn't be as shy anymore. But if you just accept that, like, oh, yeah, I'm shy or I'm this or I'm that, then, you know, life is going to reflect that, you know, based upon you having that internalized belief. So, yeah, bro, it shit, shit definitely gets it definitely gets deep. Yeah, you ever heard Bruce Lipton talk about epigenetics and the biology of belief? Yeah, I have heard like a few things here and there floating around. Yeah. Now, he got some, yo, bro, he got some real good shit on that because that's the science of reprogramming your genes through consciousness that's the whole science of epigenetics right so he goes he goes deep into that i think you're definitely like that bruce lipton he, he yeah. does some real good he's one of the pioneers and um i think stem cell research and epigenetics okay. he's one of the pioneers so yeah, dude's been around for a while so yeah definitely check him out oh yeah definitely, um, definitely. listen man we definitely want to thank you once again for coming on the show let the people know once again your contact info so they can holler at you for consultations or books or events or anything you got coming up my brother right oh yeah you can follow me on all platforms Mercaba 13 so that's instagram youtube tiktok really pretty much every platform uh, you can also go to my website www.mercaba13.com i got ebooks i got different products um consultations um you know all type of stuff i also help people with marketing and branding and business um you know so pretty much anything that most people would need help with i can kind of assist with so definitely reach out to me on there um you know and uh yeah i got a lot of events um coming up in the future so you know just definitely keep um you know stay stay up to date with everything and um you know hopefully you know we'll get another show in you know sometime in the near future and uh yeah bro that's pretty much it though man um shout out to everybody that's watching shout out to everybody that's been supporting and um you know yeah man much love to everybody Indeed, man. I want to thank you once again. Thanks to everybody in the chat. I will see y'all again. I'll be back on Wednesday. With that being said, Brother Rich, Macabre 13, we getting out of your family. See you next time. Peace. Peace.